Hey, what's up, Seekers? Wanugi from Golden Dragon Fortune, your k rap sidekick, and we're going to be doing a reading, a quick reading for somebody from Twice. For, so once, get ready, it's going to be for Yu Jongyeon. Yu Jongyeon, we're going to do a little quick reading with my Mahjong Kyle. Are you ready, one? Here we go. Hey, what's up, Seekers? Looking in the future, Peekers. You K-pop breakers, coming round and see us every weekers. Yo, diehard K-pop fans, I want to know your stance. Just let us know your bias, then go ahead, try us. Okay, welcome once. Come on in. Welcome twice. Hey, we're going to do a quick reading for Jungyeon, Yu Jungyeon of Twice. Uh, she's the second oldest me member of Twice, and we're going to do a quick reading. We're going to look at her uh, overview uh, in general, and the energy in general for the next year, quickly, and then we're going to look at um, her career and see how that may be going on a little bit more specifically, and also looking at her health because she had a little a little health thing uh, recently as far as her her, uh, her neck. Um, so let's take a look at that too. And then if you want to look at uh, we're going to look at ships and uh, maybe a little bit more information on a couple more videos for her. Uh, we're going to do a tea leaf reading for her that kind of does ships and overall kind of reading uh, over the next year. And then we're also going to do uh, her ships compatibility in, in another video as well. So look for those you know, down below or on my channel and go watch those as well and get more information on, on uh, Jongyeon. So let's look at what the towels say for the next year. We're going to go from the center, kind of work out. That's going to be roughly every couple, three months. We're going to kind of look that way and end up over going from uh, now which is midsummer to our, our summertime until summertime of 2021. So the towels say that uh, there's going to be a key decision or choice that's going to be made here in the next couple months have to do with authority. So JYP perhaps, uh, that's the main authority in her life. Um, but there seems to be a decision or choice that's going to be made. Perhaps um, maybe on uh, some, I don't know if it's a policy or contracts or other things or trying to get her to rest uh, to take care of her uh, neck and heal that. But that's going to be emphasized in the next two or three months. And it says there's going to be some um, documents or paperwork or written communications going to be important probably as you get into around uh, early uh, late summer early fall um, maybe around September or October and um, the white towel shows up represents up with that and there's two of them at the same time so it means that either there's two aspects of her life that may be requiring um, maybe some uh, documents or paperwork I don't know if it's tests or x-rays or, or what um, or maybe it's contracts um, or that maybe there's a mutual thing that uh, they're showing up at the same time because there's a mutual thing with another party that has uh, that's being worked out with written communications, uh, and that's going to be strongly emphasized uh, probably the um, last three four months of the year of 2020. And as she starts the new year, um, th she's going to feel um, very hopeful. She feels like things are she's going to be doing a lot more deeper thought about what she wants and how she's moving forward. I mean, twice has been out for I don't know quite a few years now, five six years, so. She's probably, you know, thinking about the new year and being hopeful about the new year. Uh, and she's thinking a lot about what she wants to do for the new year as well. And then as she gets kind of into the spring, maybe into the summer, she's going to be starting something new. There's going to be something new that she's going to be doing probably roughly next um, April, May, June, something like that. And um, it's, you know, the more honest, she's going to be kind of more honest with herself and maybe honest with uh, those around her and try to have clarity about what to do and how to do it. Um, and how to move forward with it, but something new that's going to be happening with her around that time, about a year from now, uh, nine months to a year. Um, so that's what it says overall. And then a career specifically, we're going to look at that. It says that there's going to be uh, also um, uh, a chance here for the next two or three months three, uh, for her to maybe get relaxed and be comfortable a little bit more. I mean, there's some new things going on right now, um, but which has to do with uh, this comeback and more and more and, you know, all the, all the things that they have to do to promote it. Uh, but then after that, there's going to be a period of uh, relaxation and uh, comfort and maybe some creativity because she has participated in writing some of the songs. Uh, so maybe she's going to be working on the next project moving forward um, over the next three months. And it says after that, maybe toward the end of the year, last three months of the year, um, <clears throat> there's going to be, again, something that she's going to be thinking about, about how what, what makes her happy. And uh, she's going to be happy about what's going on. Uh, but it's going to also make her think deeper about what she wants to do with her career and how to move forward. Um, for the new year. And it says as she starts the new year, there's going to be something that uh, involves others. Uh, so maybe it's the group twice. Um, but it says that it's going to be kind of challenging, difficult. It's not going to be easy to do. So I don't know if that has to do with uh, what they're trying to do or how they're trying to do it. Maybe, you know, maybe thinking about doing a tour or if there's certain certain choreo with a new comeback. But something like that is happening in the first three months of the year or so 
or last, uh, yeah, roughly December to March or April. Um, and then um, it says that um, uh, she's going to want to have a, a little more flexibility to do some things, uh, maybe um, April, May, June, somewhere in that time frame, June, uh, May, June, July, roughly um, getting into the summer. She's going to want to have a little more flexibility and adaptability and do some things that are important to her. So I don't know if that's more writing or doing something in a project. Uh, I mean, she's done some projects in the past um, with her sister. Uh, she was emceeing on uh, one of the uh, music shows. So she wants to do probably or would we'll like to explore other op options that are available to her um, that for her, not just the group. Uh, and then um, her health. So looking at her health, it says that uh, there's going to be, again, a decision or choice that has to be made. And probably that decision or choice is going to be to kind of relax and calm down over the next two or three months. Um, this is, represents a decision or so, uh, a choice. And this represents kind of to calm down and relax, just like the same tile here. So it says that there's going to be a period here where they're going to want to maybe have her relax and heal her body uh, with her, her herniated disc and the, you know, the, the adjustments she made for that. I mean, she's very busy right now and she herniated that disc recently. And so, you know, they did a little procedure, but she, she needs to kind of relax and uh, get that to be healed in, in, a, in a little better way. So that's probably the decision and choice is going to be made. It does say that there's going to be some uh, new things that may be coming up. Um, a door of opportunity is going to be opening up probably uh, in the last three months, fourth quarter of this year, 2020. And um, uh, from that time, from, from the fall, there's going to be nicer energy available to her too. So somehow there's something there that may be of interest and maybe nicer energy for her and maybe an opportunity for her. We get to pick another tile, so let's kind of think about um, drawing in together, concentrate on her, and then when we feel a shift in the energy, we're going to pick a tile for her. It's a bonus tile. So let's do this together. And I felt it right now. Uh, thanks for your help. And it says that there's going to be something nicer or better or nicer energy about how she interacts with others um, in the last three months of the year. Um, not sure if that's, you know, with TWICE and what they're doing there. Uh, come back, uh, perhaps uh, in, toward the end of the year. Um, but something is going to be nice and special, uh, and it's an opportunity uh, uh, that maybe uh, maybe she's ready for, as far as health-wise. Um, or maybe she's just getting uh, maybe a, a better situation because she's got more medical help or assistance or experts that maybe can make her feel more like she's being supported in, in her overall health. And it says that, that once that happens, she's going to feel like she's pretty well healed by uh, spring of 2021 and she's gonna maybe be ready to travel and do more demanding activities uh, and maybe twice is going to be ready to do a little bit more touring uh, around that time and then, then maybe come back at the end of the year or something like that to so they can kind of um, launch off of we'll see what, what how it happens but that's what the tile seemed to suggest and from one of the readings I did with another twice member in fact if you want to see other twice members you know click over here and um, you can see some other readings for twice members um, and it says that she's going to um, feel better about herself uh, in the uh, spring quarter, uh, second quarter of next year, which is April, May, June. She's going to feel like she's got herself back together. She's going to feel good about her health. She's going to feel like uh, everything's coming together and helping her be more successful um, over in her overall health, in her life, and in her career. So that's what it says for Jung Yun. Uh, so like I said, check out the other videos for her and we'll kind of look at this at a different angle. So. If you want to know about your compatibility with one of your favorite idols or with two two idols that you follow and like, then you can do that. Just uh, re just like and subscribe first, and then uh, give us your uh, for yourself. If you want to know about yourself, then give us the hour, the day, the month, the year, the city, country that you're born, and we will answer back and give you the compatibility analysis. Um, so until then, uh, until next time, and please look at the other videos. We're going to wish you all good fortunes. I'm your K-Rap Psychic, try me twice, you'll like it, like it. My name is Wanoogie, OGs call me Wanoogie. I'm a wise fortune teller and a really mellow fella. Ask me about your favorite idol, see their future, see what's vital.